Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Chi Hao. I'm an associate professor from Southern University of Science and Technology uh, in Shenzhen. Uh, actually, uh, Shenzhen is a kind of like, a, you know, where all the UAV are made of, especially this multi-rotor uh, UAVs. Uh, there are more than 100 multi-rotor UAV companies, including the most the famous one, DJI. So what we are doing actually is uh, we, there are many uh, security concerns and there are many uh, issues about this uh, multi-rotor uh, UAV, despite they have a lot of applications in logistics and uh, some, you know, rescue, you know, surveillance, as well as it's a group uh, light show. You know, there is a recently a biggest accident in China, the 1,000 multi-rotor UAV falling down, like <laughs> falling stars. Uh, so uh, there are many issues about why they will fail, uh, but uh, some simple uh, issues we started here, like including the battery, including the communication, you know, motors and the propellers. Of course, we also investigate the possible glitch of the software of the UAV, uh, but this is uh, beyond the scope of this paper. Uh, uh, let's just uh, focus on the basic element, uh, motor and the propeller. Yeah, that's the kind of like moving part of the UAV. Uh, this is uh, what we concern. First, the concern about this, you know, safety, you know, security. Um, uh, traditionally, uh, we have many sensors monitor the, the motor fault, yeah, like the temperature sensor, uh, vibration sensor, you know, uh, me me uh, mechanical sensor and the current sensors. Yeah, among all these sensors, uh, and they, they, uh, those sensors usually just used for, you know, uh, stationary motor monitoring. Yeah, the UAV is different, the motor are moving. So uh, in, that, uh, well, in that case, uh, temperature sensor, you know, may not work well and also the vibration, you know, sensor. Yeah, so it's a, uh, it's moving itself. So you cannot judge whether it's caused by the moving or you know just uh, some motor problem. Yeah. So to us, it's like we 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 will have to use some you know machine learning algorithm. Uh, we we focus on this uh, temperature, uh, no current monitor sensor, uh, using some you know signature analysis. Uh, on the other hand, for the propeller, yeah, it's uh, uh, because uh, each uh, UAV itself already has you know you know several you know accelerometers, and so it's a question: Can we use that you know already already existing accelerometers to you know predict the behavior of this propeller? Yeah, so that's also a question we want to uh, solve because you don't need a extra hardware. Uh, to 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 use. Uh, so the in this paper, you know, we just uh, focus on the motor and the propeller, you know, anomaly detection. So it's uh, we just uh, use uh, current sensors and uh, accelerometers uh, to do that. So the our idea is uh, for the current sensors. Yeah, we use the harmonics. Yeah, so we use uh, this first order, you know, third order harmonics. And then uh, we use some clustering algorithm and uh, to tell whether this motor works well or not. So the, uh, the difficulties for this part is, uh, uh, you know, normally we, we don't know how it does fail, right? Uh, so we can try some, a few cases, you know, damage the motor, but uh, we, we never know what really happened in the air. Yeah, so that's a challenge. For the propeller, it's much easier. You know, we can just use a sizer, you know, cut part of them and, uh, you know, maybe change the balance of the, you know, propeller and uh, to, to simulate the, you know, failure situation. Yeah. So uh, for that case, uh, we just uh, develop some statistical, you know, uh, features and uh, using the classic uh, supervised learning and some, you know, optimization algorithm to determine, you know, which 
know, statistics can represent this damage because we know the you know abnormal case and the normal case. Yeah, so it's that's the easier job. Uh, so the uh, let's say for the motor part, yeah, motor part, uh, we choose the algorithm uh, called the, this fuzzy art. Yeah, why? Uh, uh, it's kind of like a combination about this uh, fuzzy rules and uh, neural network. Yeah, fuzzy rules is like uh, more like a decision tree. So you have some clear uh, physical meaning about what's going on when you. Det uh, determine whether it's good or not. Uh, as we know, the neural network is good at you know extract extracting features. Yeah, so it's we it's an old technique. Just uh, and also have a very uh, uh, you know the simple computation computational complexity good for real time you know detection. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, that's why we choose this um, uh, learning algorithm. Yeah, so uh, for the Current sensor, uh, we, 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 we perform some fast uh, Fourier transform and uh, select their harmonics, odd, odd other you know, harmonics. And then we, we, we just uh, you know, use this, uh, it's uh, uh, unsupervised learning yeah? so to, to detect the where it goes wrong. Yeah? So of course we do some damage you know, to our motor yeah, to see what will happen. So for the popular uh, condition, it's uh, much easier. You know, we just uh, cut off part of that, or maybe we, you know, add uh, some uh, sticky things on our problem. Yeah. So it's much easier. We also use uh, kind of like a fuzzy uh, neural network called fuzzy art map. It's a supervised learning because we know, you know, we, what will happen uh, to the, our problem. Uh, so the but the challenge is uh, how can we? Uh, there are so many statistics, right? How many choose the proper features? Yeah. So we only use the uh, 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 first at the first stage uh, for each axis. You know, we use the uh, nine statistical features. So totally it's the twenty-seven. Yeah? So we want to reduce them further yeah? to to find out which uh, are most relevant statistical features. So uh, as a result, uh, we can choose you know uh, fourteen features out of this twenty seven uh, statistical features, and uh, we also tried uh, you know for popular we tried you know two cases. One is you know we we cut off five percent of the popular you know ten percent of popular and uh, fifteen percent. Percent, yeah. So and also uh, including the normal normal case, we have four uh, class problem. And uh, another uh, uh, case is we just want to uh, separate it's normal or you know uh, abnormal, right? So it can be C. Uh, we can you know uh, our algorithm compared with some uh, you know uh, fast you know uh, KKNN you know decision tree and uh, also some. Uh, as we am, yeah, so we can have better, we have similar computational complexity, we have better uh, performance. Now for motor uh, fault detection, yeah, so uh, students tried several, you know, uh, damage to the motor, yeah, so, but uh, still we don't have very large data set, yeah, so it's kind of, we have, we have some good results ab uh, among them. Yeah, so the, the issue is how to, you know, the, the, when the, uh, UAV in the air, you know, how can we, you know, know where it goes wrong and then we can, you know, really help the UAV to know it goes wrong and we try to land or try to go back. Yeah, so I think that's the uh, most challenge for us, for our next work. Um, so, uh, okay, yeah, uh, I think I don't use that much time. Uh, so uh, in this work, yeah, it's very simple. We just use a current sensor and accelerometer for real-time UAV, you know, fault detection. Yeah. So we we develop two models. Yeah, one is for unsupervised learning, another is for you know uh, supervised learning. Yeah. So uh, because for motor is more challenging, you, you never know when it goes wrong. Yeah, for the problem, it's easy. <laughs> To set up some, you know, damage cases. Yeah. So, it, it, so uh, our method uh, doesn't takes much 
uh, computation. Yeah, it works uh, okay. Yeah, it's work pretty good for our you know experiment data. We don't have some open data set. That's a problem. Uh, but uh, we are more interested. Yeah, you know when 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 it's uh, it's damaged, uh, but it's still working. Yeah, so can we develop some you know uh, robust control system? Yeah, make sure it's still in balance and before it landing. Yeah. So. Uh, Basically, that's all for today. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you.